Good morning, and welcome to today's Memorial Day ceremony. On behalf of the Commanding General of the 21st Theater Sustainment Command, Major General Christopher R. Mohan, and the 21st Theater Sustainment Command, Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Sean Howard, we'd like to extend a warm welcome to the Cindy Mohan, special guests, commanders, sergeants, major, family, and friends. At this time, please stand for the arrival of the official party. Please render the proper honors during the playing of ruffles and flourishes, and remain standing for the invocation delivered by Chaplain Jeffrey Mitchell and the playing of national anthems of the Federal Republic of Germany and the United States of America. <laughs> Today's official party consists of Deputy Commanding General, 21st Theater Sustainment Commander, Brigadier General Major Wanda Williams, and the 21st Theater Sustainment Operations Center, Sergeant Major Alonzo. Today we pause to reflect on the sacrifice made by those who paid the ultimate sacrifice on behalf of our nation. We're reminded of the words, which, your words, which tell us, greater love is no one than this, that someone lay down their lives for their friends. May the sacrifices made on behalf of our freedom and the pain suffered by many families never be forgotten. We acknowledge that freedom comes at a cost and pray for the pursuit of peace. Let us turn to you, Lord, in our grief in our remembrance of the fallen. Guide us as we honor those who were willing to give up their lives that we may gather here today freely. On this upcoming Memorial Day, we pray for a world where no one has to give up their lives in pursuit of freedom. May we be receptive to your guidance, and may we never forget the fallen. In your name we pray. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. For more than two centuries, the Stars and Stripes has been the banner under which Americans have lived, fought, and died. More than a symbol, the flag is the embodiment of our government, people, ideals, and values. The flag is the embodiment all military units serving in the host country display the national flag of Germany next to the Stars and Stripes. Together, the two flags show the commitment and partnership of these two nations. Thus, respect is paid to both nations. On Memorial Day, we remember and honor the military personnel who died in service to their country, particularly those who died in battle or as a result of wounds sustained in battle. On Memorial Day, the flag is flown at half staff, from sunrise until noon only then raised briskly to the top of the staff until sunset. The half-staff position remembers more than the one million men and women who gave their lives and service to their country. At noon, their memory is raised by the women who resolve not to let their sacrifice be in vain, but to rise up in their stead and continue to fight for liberty and justice for all. Today, we gather on our ceremonial field to honor the warriors of the 21st Leader Sustainment Command who made the ultimate sacrifice to our nation. Let us remember our 34 fallen comrades and their loved ones who still grieve at their loss. Ladies and gentlemen, the Deputy Commanding General, 21st Theater Sustainment Command, Brigadier General Wanda Williams. So good morning. I say good morning, we're still in the Army. Good morning. All right, so thank you all for uh, coming today. Uh, so good morning to everyone. Uh, thank you for attending this Memorial Day service. Also, thanks to Major General Mohan for providing me this opportunity to participate in this Memorial Day service. Throughout the course of the United States history, Service members have given their lives in defense of our nations, its values, our freedom, and our liberty. On Memorial Day, we pay solemn tribute to their ultimate sacrifice through a day of national awareness and solemn reverence. It's a day for us to honor military men and women who gave their lives in defense of our nations and its values. We may never forget the high cost of freedom and the liberties that we all enjoy. In the Army, people are our greatest asset. We are honored to serve in an all-volunteer force where all races, genders, creeds unite under common commitment in defense and love of our country. The defense and love of our country and constitution binds us together and unifies us. That goes to, to the heart of what it means to be an American. Memorial Day was first observed after the Civil War and called Decoration Day because families typically remember their loved ones by decorating their grave sites with flowers or flags. We continue that tradition across America and around the world today. In World War II, more than 400,000 Americans died for the freedoms we enjoy today. So today, we pause to remember the sacrifices that our allied forces made to ensure people were free from tyranny. We honor the sacrifices American soldiers have made in every conflict to ensure we remain free. In the Army, we continue to pay a high price for ensuring America's freedom and security. Every year, soldiers die in combat or in accidents. In 2020, we face the challenge of COVID-19, a new challenge unlike any we have experienced in our lifetimes. The global crisis has brought immense suffering and pain to the world and to our communities and to those that are close to us. We're thankful for every service member that has assisted and fought against the global crisis. And of course, the fight continues. We must uh, maintain our COVID mitigation. 
We must continue to uncoil from COVID-19 and regain a bit of normalcy in our lives. We are present in this chapel today, an event that would not be possible about a year ago, which shows you that we are making tremendous progress. I'm grateful for the progress being made against the fight against COVID-19. This Memorial Day, I hope you remember the link we have with all our generations that have gone before us, who has selfishly served for our country and have paid the ultimate price. As we gain, regain the freedom of gathering with the people that we love, our family members, our friends, let us not forget the ultimate sacrifice that so many have made for us. We honor them by participating in the National Moment of Remembrance, a call to voluntarily and informally pause at 3 p.m. local on Memorial Day to reflect on those Americans that, had, that have died in service to our country. We fly the flags at half staff for sunrise and noon, only then to raise them briskly and to the top of the staff until sunset and honor the nation's battle heroes. As we move forward, we must remember the ideas that those before us defended and died for, and we are being challenged in new ways. The nature of war has, has not has changed, and the battlefield has shifted into other dominions, but the, the uh, vigilance, the duty, the honor, the selfless service of people like us and people like you have not changed, and it will never will. We are a united nation that will overcome any challenge that we face. Our key to our success in this theater are our relationships with our allies and partners. Our partnerships are built on unshakable foundation, on shared values, experiences, and vision. The United States and European Alliance remains committed to the collective defense and cooperative security of all our partner nations. In 2021, we continue to stand together with our European allies to ensure a Europe that is whole, free, prosperous, and at peace. So today, we take a pause and remember our fallen comrades that have paid the ultimate price. Memorial Day is a time to honor our commitment to never forget. I say it again, Memorial Day is a time to honor our commitment to never forget those who serve and sacrifice for America. Thank you for remembering our fellow soldiers in their selfless service. May God bless those we have lost. May God bless our allies, and may God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you. Brigadier General Wanda Williams, accompanied by the 21st Theater Sustainment Operations Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Alfonso Coleman, will now lay a wreath on the center stage to symbolize the 21st PSC Memorial in honor of our fallen warriors. Please remain seated. Memorial reads, our fellow countrymen, enduring all and giving all, that mankind might live in freedom and in peace. They join that glorious band of heroes who have gone before. Specialist Jonathan Keppel, Private Tori Gangsley, Sergeant Tajana Reed, Private First Class Cole Larson, Staff Sergeant Shane Cole, Specialist Robert Cafazzo, Private First Class, Douglas Cashman. Staff Sergeant, Keith Craig. Private First Class, Daniel Zuzindo. Sergeant, Ashley Moyer. Sergeant, Brandon Paul. Sergeant, Michael Peake. Private First Class, William Perrault. Sergeant, Bruce Warner. Specialist, Karen Clifton. 
Fire First Class, Matthew Murchison. Sergeant Enrique Hugo. Staff Sergeant, Ryan Studer. Sergeant First Class, Gregory Rodriguez. Staff Sergeant, Anton Phillips. Staff Sergeant, Derek Farley. Staff Sergeant, James I. DeWitt. Staff Sergeant, Eric Trudeau. Staff Sergeant, Joshua Queer. Fire First Class, Michael Marr. Staff Sergeant, Josh Dockmore. Specialist, Jordan Schumann. Specialist, Preston J. Sue. Sergeant, Aaron Robb. Fire First Class, Alberto Obad, Jr. Sergeant, Paul Rivera. Staff Sergeant, Errol M. James. Corporal, Darren T. Hicks. Staff Sergeant Dick A. Lee, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join us in a moment of silence for 34 seconds. Each second represents the following, followed by a 21 gun salute and the sound of the taps. Please render the proper honors during the 21 gun salute and the playing of taps. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the playing of the 21st TSC March, the Army Song, the departure of the official party.
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Major General Chris Mohan and Command Sergeant Major Sean Howard, thank you for attending today's ceremony. Versus support.